breaking news. His Excellency Prime Minister Simon Nekpa bans Ohaneze, Igbo governors and senators from negotiating MNK's release with the federal government. Here are the news in details. Wonderful people of the Afro lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome once again to be Afro Unite channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 8th of July 2024 and I have a breaking information for every one of you listening to my voice right now from where you are all over the world. Dear friends and lovers of freedom, I want you to pay very good attention to this very news because it's very, very important, I can assure you, my people. The Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Government in Exile, Mazi Simonekpa, has issued order, a stern warning to the Southeast politicians and Ohanes and Dioshin and Diyama to stay clear from negotiating with the federal government of the zoological republic of animal kingdom nigeria over the release of mazin amdekano because we have seen some discrepancies dubious characters and of course compromise in every single thing they are doing in respect to the release of mazin amdekano we have seen it we have seen the compromise we have seen where they are leading this whole thing to we have seen what they what they are planning to do. We have seen what they want to do. How they want to use Mazinam de Kano as a bargain to their own political and personal interest with the federal government of this zoo. So I'm going to explain that. But before then, let me first of all read this very news in details from Daily Post Nigeria. And after that, I will show you the original, you know, order from the prime minister himself his excellency mazi simon Epa. and then if i have anything to say i will say it before the end of the broadcast so pay attention while i take you through this very news and according to the title from daily post nigeria they say biafra you lack legitimacy to negotiate for nam the canoe's release biogie to southeast governors the Simon Ekpa led Biafra Republic government in exile, BIOGIE, has told Southeast governors and other leaders in the region to stay clear of negotiating for Biafra declaration and the release of Mazinam de Kano with Nigeria. Ekpa, who is known as the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, BIOGIE, disclosed this in a statement on Sunday through his official ex handle. This come as Southeast governors, lawmakers, and other groups from the region and the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 election, Mr. Pito B, recently drummed support for the release of Kano as a panacea to peace in the region. However, the LGIE, headed by EPA, has warned the governors and the leaders against such negotiation, claiming that they lack legitimacy. They lack legitimacy. Let's continue. According to him, it was only Biao GIE that has the legitimate right to call for the release of Kano and Biafra declaration, which is the truth. Which is the truth on a plain terms. These idiots lack legitimacy to, you know, enter into negotiation for Biafra or for the release of Mazinam de Kano. Because number one, the Biafra people now have a government. And Mazinam de Kano is fighting for Biafra. So if there should be any negotiation, that has to be between the Biafra government and the zoo government. Not the illegitimate individuals parading themselves as governors, senators, and other political leaders. Not them. They do not have the legitimacy to negotiate on behalf of Biafra or Mazinam de Kano, because we are talking about Biafra matters. We are talking about matters bordering on Biafra. So these people who are representing the zoo, but from Biafra land, lack legitimacy to sit on the negotiating table on the matters bordering on Biafra and Nigeria, unless they are sitting or standing on behalf of Nigeria to negotiate between Biafra and Nigeria. So if that is what they are 
standing for they should make it clear they should let us know that they are the you know the delegates sent by the nigerian government to negotiate on behalf of nigeria with either mazinam the Kano or biafra republic government in exile are you paying attention but i will come back to the word which i said that we have cited discrepancies discrepancies dubious characters and of course the compromise in every single thing that they are doing at the moment i will come back to that but let's continue first he noted that those parading in the name of negotiating for mazinam de Kano's release were sabotaging biafra liberation did you get that very simple now after lacking the legitimacy to negotiate for biafra matters yet the prime minister has also told you that they are sabotaging biafra liberation because of what they want to use the situation of mazinam de Kano to bargain for their own political and selfish interest which we have said no and never should we allow that to happen are you paying attention i'm going to tell you something just pay attention and he continued those selfish politicians and traditional rulers who are now jumping up and shouting negotiation with nigeria after sabotaging biafra liberation are warned never to speak again are warned are warned never to speak again the warning will not come again the prime minister said the warning will not come again none of you have the mandate to speak for mazinam de Kano or biafrans which is the truth we will not allow anyone to negotiate anything from tonight sunday the biafra republic government in exile remains the only legitimate entity to do that those selfish individuals now taking center stage and shouting negotiation should stay away biafrans are not joking he said biafrans are not joking he said recall that in the past week the call for Kano's release resonated in the media space after Southeast governors met in Enugu State. In a communique read by Governor Hopu Zodema, the illegitimate Governor Hopu Zodema, after the meeting on July 3rd, 2024, the illegitimate governors resolved to meet with the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to secure Kano's release. Ekpa, on his part, had also earlier in May urged the Nigeria government to engage its Finland counterpart for mediation to end the conflict in the region. To end the conflict in the region, which will automatically give birth to the independent state of Biafra. That is exactly what we meant. Now, let me show you the you know the direct message or should i say this message from the official and verified ex handle of the prime minister his excellency mazi simon Ekman. after showing you this i will say something only if time permits me now according to the pm he said announcement those criminals politicians and traditional rulers who are now jumping up and shouting negotiation with the nigeria government after sabotaging the biafra liberation are warned never to speak again the warning will not come again this is the last warning none of you have the mandate to speak for mazinam de Kano or biafrans we will not have mercy at anyone negotiating anything from tonight let me re let me say that again he said we will not have mercy at anyone negotiating anything from tonight let this very message be sent to all the criminals all these criminals parading themselves as Igbo politicians or hanes and ocean and once you come across this very message make sure that you share it wherever you come across it whether on facebook or youtube share it this message must get to them now he continued the biafra republic government in exile remain the only legitimate entity to do that those idiots now taking center stage and shouting negotiations should stay away or you disappear biafrans are not joking this is not the era of wazrike or the time of ipob nigeria now there are some very strong words being spoken here but you did not see it you know on the uh, zoo newspaper on the zoo media they are not here so the right word they think is good for them 
they write what they think they they, they can write and leave the ones they, they think that is not good for them that is the zoo for you that is the zoo journalist and the zoo media for all of you so the pm has said it very very clear for everybody to understand because when you listen to the Johannes criminals when you listen to the governor the illegitimate governors they say that the negotiation will not only be for the release of Mazin Amdekano, that the negotiation will also include the marginalization of Ndibo and again the turn to give the Igbos their turn to rule Nigeria to allow the Igbos to give the Igbos their turn to rule Nigeria that is what they said they said it that's why we you know analyzed it yesterday during our live broadcast in case you didn't watch it i'm going to put the link at the very end of this very video on your screen so that you can click it and watch the full you know analysis and the live broadcast that i did yesterday so now since they said that they are going to use mazinam the kind to bargain for the turn of Fibo presidency then it, you don't need any other any other microscope to to see what is coming and what they are standing for it is not for Biafrans. Moreover, Mazinam Dekano is standing for Biafrans and Biafra at large, not for Igbos or for Igbo, or for Igbo politicians or Igbo politics under the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom, Nigeria. We are not there. We are standing for the outright freedom of the people of Biafra. That is final. Thank you, my people. Tosalo Numozia. And make it go viral.